Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge from Jackie Partridge Art. If you find this tips video helpful, you can like and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click the bell for notifications for when new painting videos come out. So today I'm sharing five different tips to help you not overwork your painting. So number one is to step back from your painting. When you're working at it really closely, you can see things that you don't like and you can constantly fix it and it can feel like you can never finish a painting and you're just gonna keep going and going and going. But it's important to remember to step back and look at it as a whole and not just super close up. So you can hang it on your wall or lean it against something and stand back a couple of meters and really take a look at it from a distance. It's also great to look at it with fresh eyes. So if you paint a painting on Tuesday, then take a break from it and look at it again on Thursday. So give it a day or so, a couple days, where you can really look at it with fresh eyes and you might appreciate it or you might see an area that you do need to fix and that's okay. Tip number two is to make sure that every painting has a focal point and that's an area of the painting where your eye is really drawn to. So it's important to follow composition rules in your painting. Number three is to work from a photo for inspiration. So you can print out a photo and have it there while you're painting or you can pull up a photo on your phone, your iPad or your computer and that just helps you to stay focused and keep track. It's also great to have different photos saved in a folder for inspiration that you can use for your paintings. Make sure you're not copying them, but you can just use them to be inspired by. Number four is to wait for the paint to dry. So this is a very common problem with beginner painters because I get it, you're excited, you just wanna keep painting, but it's really important to wait for the paint to dry in between layers because if the paint is still fresh and it's still wet, then all of a sudden you could be over mixing your paint and that's how you're getting a lot of browns and grays and really dirty and muddy colors. But it's important to just wait while the paint is drying in between layers and that's how you're gonna get more crisp colors like greens and blues and purples and things like that without having all kinds of browns and grays when you don't want them there. And lastly, you wanna just continue to work on your mindset as an artist. This can be challenging, especially when you're just starting out. You might just feel like all of your paintings suck and it's just important to remember that you're starting out, you're learning, you're growing. It's okay to have bad paintings. You can always paint over them. You can get some gesso and gesso over it or paint over a section that you don't like. Even famous painters, they found that when they've scanned the paintings, they can see layers of painting underneath. So even famous artists that you know today have struggled with this and it's okay to just keep going. It's part of the process. So again, if you found these painting tips helpful, be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell to receive notifications. If you like this video, leave me a comment and let me know. If you have any questions about acrylic painting, let me know in the comments and I can make some more videos to help you. Follow me on social media at Jackie Partridge Art and be sure to check some of the links below in the description to stay in contact with me and connect with me. Thanks for watching and happy painting. Bye.